Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Clive Mumby, we're here at Hi. NAB 2024, day one. How is it going? <laughs> it's good, yeah, good to be back. Yeah, it's uh, it's been busy. We, uh, we've we enjoyed this morning, had some interesting chats with some people from all around the world, places we didn't expect to find people coming to the show from. So yeah, very happy. That's what's great about this show, very international. Very international, yeah. You never quite know who you're gonna get. There's so many shows around the world now, you know, with all the, all the different regions. It's good to have one that people come to and you know that it's gonna be the, the, the major show where we can show everything we have to, to the people who wanna see it. And with regards to your positioning in the marketplace, talk to us about that. So ShotterQ Robotics, we're, we're up there with the premier robotic suppliers. I would say we are the, the main one in terms of reliability. That's our reputation. Everything we sell is ultimately reliable. We have very long-term customers. Robotics, when you hear about robotics, everybody thinks this is a new thing and the, all the terms AI relate to robotics. We've been doing this for a very long time now and the history of our company means that we've got people working for us who've been doing it for 30 years. So we've got loads of experience in, in robotics. It's also the only thing we do, so we better do it well, otherwise we don't have a business. So we get lots of repeat customers. People don't often know that we have two sides to our business. There's the broadcast side, and then there's the parliamentary side. So we have, in the US, we have systems in the Senate and the House of Representatives, the European Parliament, the House of Commons, and the House of Lords. Most of the parliaments around the world, the big ones, are, are us. Canada, um, the important thing there is reliability is what it's all about. So the systems have to be ultimately dependable because some of these places, it's a legal requirement for them to be recording, otherwise they can't sit so that people can go back and make a reference on the public record. So reliability is the top thing and, and obviously for broadcast, that's very important as well. So some of our systems last 10, 15 years, we're swapping systems out now, which have been in parliamentary systems for, for sort of 15 years. Same with robotics. You know, we've had systems that have been running now for sort of 10 years, and we're just refreshing them in uh, places in Europe. So yeah, reliability is a very big thing for us, but it doesn't mean that we don't innovate. So that's what we've got here. We've got some great new things to show here in terms of our control systems. Yes. Mo on that note, I was just about to ask, what are you showcasing here at NAB 2024 this year? So all of our usual systems uh, are here and uh, we've, we've got some new uh, developments there, but the main thing is how we drive them and control them. So we've taken a major leap forward in, in uh, updating our control system, which is called TRXT. Now runs on Windows, it's got a new look and new feel, but we haven't abandoned all the people who knew how to drive the old system feels the same, uh, but it's got a great new look, lots more facilities, very tightly integrated face tracking. Our auto frame tracking system is really tightly in there. There's no complicated menus. You don't have to come out and program anything. If you want to track somebody, you touch on their face and it does it. You know, it's very easy for one operator to drive it. There's no issues there at all, so. And who are you targeting with this and what are the prospective use cases? So clearly studio production is our, is our big area. News and anything that, that has a, pr a presentation element. The uh, base tracking auto frame system, we're calling it presenter tracking because it's really designed for that environment. So where you might have a, a four camera system in a studio, you could have one camera operator, but the cameras are all locked to individual people on the panel. And you know, it's a very strong thing. It's, it's a very popular thing these days to have people inside boxes. So if you have a box like that, you automatically tighten the shot and anybody moving is not going to be inside that box. So using auto frame, you can lock them and the camera will follow them and keep them nicely framed inside that box without anybody having to intervene. It will just do that for you automatically. And Clive, what trends are you seeing happening in the industry right now? Everybody's talking about AI. You know, that's something we're, we're always looking at. We, it's, it's an element of our, of our systems. We're in a nice situation where we're always, robotics is always gonna be the end of the chain. 
if we drive it manually, obviously that's, that's something you do, but automation can work with our systems. Automation might have the AI part, and we just make recalls on the system as, as we're told. We've got some big plans for, for the system. Now we've updated this. It makes it easier for us to develop, and we've got lots of new things on the way, so watch this space. On that note, can I ask, what do we expect for the future with ShotterQ? Our big plans, more to do with studios and managing your studio space. Something which is really going to be uh, tremendous for the future, but I'm not going to say any more. Come and see us again at IBC. <laughs> Love that. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.